hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is maddie um i feel mostly luxury related videos so if you do enjoy watching those i would appreciate it if you join my little youtube family by hitting the subscribe button down below and if you're not new shout out to you <laughs> you're a real one so today's video is a requested one um i had a friend leave a comment in my last video which was the unboxing of my uh, lady dior mini and she wanted me to do a video on um, places that i've purchased luxury items pre-loved so um yeah i took her up on that offer so yeah shout out to you tony and thanks for the suggestion um so without further ado i guess i'm just gonna go right into the video um this is going to be like my pre-loved luxury collection and then obviously i will tell you where i got it from and like um if i would recommend it or not so i have a total of three handbags and i think like three slgs and um i had one slg before but i gave it to a friend um so i probably put up like um what is it i probably put up like a video clip of the item and um i'll talk about where i got everything from and all that stuff so i've purchased luxury items from three different places and the first place that i got it from well the first place that i ever purchased from was fashion file and um, i know a lot of people probably already know about fashion file and have heard about them before but i'll just go into a little bit of detail um if you see me looking down that's because i have my phone and um you know i have notes on it just so i don't lose my train of thought so i purchased from fashion file last year in april that was the first time ever that i purchased from them and the bag that i got from them is the givenchy um antigona in the size small i believe and this is black as you can see obviously with silver hardware and um this is like the older model that the strap is not detachable or adjustable and um i think this is like the goat skin leather or like the sugar coated something i don't know what it is but this is a bag that i purchased from fashion file in april last year um so fashion file is like an online store i believe they do have a physical store in cali if i'm right i think it's somewhere in cali and um like i said they have it's an online store and they have like a huge selection and they have so many options um they have shoes they have bags they have jewelry um i think i've seen like scarves i'm not sure if they actually sell clothing um and then what I like about Fashion File is for me, because there's other websites as well, which I will mention eventually. But what I like the most about Fashion File is like how easy it is to navigate their website. Um, out of all the websites that I've been on or like the online stores, I think Fashion File is the easiest for me to navigate. And, um, you know, they rate their they rate their items. Um, they do get in some new items. So if it's new, it obviously would say new. And then there's excellence. There's very good. There's good, I think. And then there's fair um and then like not just the rating they also like give a description of it so they let you know if there's like scuffs on it they let you know pretty much like what condition the bag is in and then there's pictures obviously as well which is pretty good um also they have like a layaway program um you have to put like a down payment i'm not sure what percentage it is it might be like 10 or 20 i don't really know exactly so you put that down and then you have 60 days i believe to pay everything off um you can also return items so when you get a bag um it usually comes with like a pink um tag on it if you take off the pink tag then the bag is yours but if you don't take off the pink tag you can return the bag um if you do choose to do the layaway program your refund is not i mean your um down payment is non-refundable the 10 or 20 percent that you put down initially you're not going to get that back uh what else so another good thing is even if you take off the tag um you have the option to sell the bag back to them i think you have like maybe 30 to 90 days i'm not sure I should have done my research i'll look at the website and i'll put it on the screen here you have a couple of months i think you have at least a month to sell the bag back to sell the bag back to them you're not gonna get it for the price that you bought it from it's gonna be like a lesser price obviously but you do have the option to sell the bag back to them if you want um what else obviously they have since they have like a huge selection there's um people who authenticate the bags before they put them on the website um and i don't know i just i just think it's very easy and to purchase from them they have like a huge selection shipping is pretty quick as well i don't remember exactly how long it takes just a few days um shipping is pretty quick and you know it's just it's, it's great to be able to see a bag and it's just i don't know i just think fashion file is great to shop um from there's other websites as well 
hold on let me check my phone um they have the real there's a real real um and i believe the real real has a physical store in new york city i walked by i walked by it um i want to say like one time i'm not sure exactly where in the city it is but i know they have one there um there's Vessier Vessier collective there's Farfetch, there's Rebag, there's StockX. There's a lot of websites that you can shop pre-love from. Farfetch does have like, um, so Farfetch is like a huge uh, website where they sell like new stuff, but they do have a section where they sell pre-owned stuff. I haven't purchased anything pre-owned from them, but I've purchased like brand new stuff from them as well. Um, so yeah, there's like a whole bunch of websites. Um, and again, like they're all authenticated um, pieces. I know the Real Real had like an issue I don't know exactly when, but like in the past where they sold um, something that wasn't authenticated, but um pretty sure they've learned from that and now, you know, like they look at items and make sure that it's authenticated before they sell it. So I definitely recommend, you know, using like these websites or like going on these websites to purchase an item um, just because like it's, it's more secure and you don't have to worry about whether or not you're buying a fake bag as opposed to purchasing something from like eBay. I mean, I know eBay's, eBay's actually also another option. Um, I think think if i'm not wrong i think there's now like an ebay section that they sell um authenticated bags but i don't know i just i guess just like the negativity from the past is still in my head so i personally wouldn't recommend ebay but i know a lot of youtubers who have purchased on ebay and what they say is you just have to do your research and you know like um just see you know what they've sold before i think they like get ranked on ebay as well and they like read the reviews of people who've purchased from them in the past um just pretty much do your research just so you can feel safe and you can make sure you're not buying um a fake piece so yeah that's it on fashion file and that's it on websites so the next place that i've purchased luxury items i don't know why i'm talking with my hands um but the next place that i purchased luxury items is actually instagram um purchased two bags from Instagram and it's the same Instagram seller that I purchased both bags on so the first bag that I purchased is my Chanel mini and this is black um, lambskin leather and it's silver hardware I got this in November last year and I got this from Coco approved um, I also purchased my Lady Dior mini which is this beauty right here and this um, is the latest handbag in my collection I got this Two weeks ago maybe three weeks ago maybe um i don't remember exactly um but yeah i got both bags from coco approved which is an instagram seller they also have a website so i think that's something to look out for i think that's something to pay attention to i think like most of these instagram sellers have websites and i think that kind of like gives me a little more peace of mind knowing that they have a website i mean i don't think there's going to be a website where they're just blatantly selling fake stuff so I think you want to make sure that they have a website you also want to make sure that they have like a decent amount of followers um me personally i would reach out to people who have purchased from them before just to get like their their thought process and like know about what their experience um was purchasing from purchasing from them um the reason why i purchased from coco approved is i know a couple of um, youtubers who follow them and have purchased from them in the past so i felt safe doing it um so yeah it's they have like i want to say like 20k or like 30k followers and um yeah there's a whole bunch of instagram sellers i will get to the i would get to that they rate the bags um also from a scale of one to ten and both bags that i purchased they were rated like a nine point something which to me is pretty much excellent um and i was able to save a decent amount of money i saved like a thousand dollars buying this pre-loved with them and i saved about two thousand dollars buying this pre-loved with them as well um so yeah they rate the bags and i think what i like about buying from an instagram seller is like i mentioned in my last video which was the unboxing of this bag the color kind of scared me a little bit the good thing about you know buying this on instagram is i was able to see pictures of the previous owner and how she styled it um like i said before i was going back and forth with the seller and i was like in all honesty i don't know how i'm gonna sell this bag and um he was like just wait let me find pictures and i'll send it to you and when i saw the pictures i was sold so on fashion file they just put you just you just get pictures of the bag and then you get the picture of the bag on a mannequin not really on a person so it was great to see someone like the actual human being style styling this bag so it kind of gave me peace of mind um what else they also have a layaway program if you want to call it that and you do have it's like six to eight weeks you also have to put down a 
down payment and I'm not sure if it's like 20% or 25% or something like that um, the only downside to purchasing on Instagram is all sales all sales are final um, you can't return you know what you purchase um, and obviously if you buy something on fashion file you're able to return it so you cannot return an item you cannot return an item that you purchase on Instagram it says all sales are final unless they sell you like a fake bag so if you were to get it authenticated um, and you find out that it's not a it's not a um, authentic it's not an authentic bag then they will refund you your money and take the bag back but they don't sell fake items so chances of that happening is very slim um, and like I said, they have a website as well. I'm not sure if you can return on the website. I'm pretty sure all sales are final on the website as well. So that's the only downside I would say to purchasing on Instagram. So let me check my phone. Other Instagram pages that um I personally haven't purchased from, but I know they sell, you know, authentic um, items are Timeless Vogue. I'll put the names on the screen. I have almost purchased something from Timeless Vogue, but I feel like every time I reach out, to, every time I have reached out to them, the item that I wanted to purchase was already sold. Um, there's Love Lutz Luxury, there's the Press Affair, and there's Timeless like Audrey. Um, so I think majority of these um, Instagram pages have websites. I know the Press Affair has websites. I think Love Lots Luxury has websites as well or a website. I'm not sure if Timeless Vogue has but I'm pretty sure they do. Um, I'm, I'm not sure you know if all sales, all sales are final with all these other ones because I personally haven't purchased from them but I'm gonna go with all sales are probably final purchasing on all Instagram platforms but just do your research. Maybe reach out to people who purchase from them just so you can have peace of mind and um, like I said we comment and um you usually at, at least i know coco approved does this on their instagram stories they like kind of show people who have received the items so they show you when they're mailing the items not like your specifically but they show you items that are already packaged and are about to be dropped off at the mail and then they sometimes they would show like people with pictures of the bags that they have received and like their reviews which is great so that also gives you peace of mind that you know actual human beings are receiving the items that they claim have been sold so that's the second um place that i purchased from and i think yeah that does it for my handbags i've only purchased three handbags um pre-loved and i got the first one from fashion file which was my Givenchy and Tagona. and then the other two i got from the instagram seller coco approved so everything else is going to be um slgs and i got all three actually all four i did give one away um, to a friend. So all um, SLGs that I purchased are from the same place, which is Poshmark. So Poshmark is like an app. I'm not sure if they have a website. I just know I have that app on my phone. And um, people who have previously owned stuff, you know, um, kind of put them up for sale at whatever price that they want to sell it for. So the problem with Poshmark is, well, not really a problem. I know items that are less than $500 don't get authenticated. It's items that are over $500 that get authenticated, which kind of sucks because, you know, a lot of SLGs are less than $500. So your chances of buying something that's fake is maybe high. I do know that periodically they go through like people's pages randomly. I know one time I had my cosmetic pouch, my Louis Vuitton cosmetic pouch um, on there and they took it down and sent me an email saying that it looks like my item is fake. So, so to kind of like, and then if I feel like they did that in in error to reach out to them or whatever so i sent them pictures of my receipts and all that stuff um and they put it back so i guess that's a good thing it pissed me off when they did it because i'm just like that's weird um but i guess it makes sense they're just trying to be safe and trying to make sure that people don't sell fake stuff um i would say this is like my least favorite way of purchasing something i mean if it's 500 and above then you're in good hands because obviously it's going to get authenticated um but i haven't bought anything that price from them so the things that i got from poshmark are that i got this this is um the louis vuitton luggage tag and as you can see it's hot stamped so it means it's authenticated because obviously i took it to the louis vuitton store and they authenticated it for me so pretty sure that means it's real um the fact that they were able to do it another thing that i got actually is my six key holder or my six ring key holder i got this pre-loved just because this specific combination so the monogram with the rose ballerine interior um was very hard to find at the time so i got this pre-loved and honestly i never really authenticated it but she had the receipt so i saw pictures of the receipt um yeah i saw pictures of the receipt um from the store that the person bought it in so you know that kind of made me like 
feel a little more safe so I got this pre-loved and honestly did I save money on this I'm not sure I don't think I did honestly I think I got it probably for like retail price or maybe just like a little less and the last item that I have is this which is the agenda p.m. I also got this on Poshmark so all three of these I got from Poshmark and they're less than $500 so they weren't really authenticated and honestly I think at the time that I purchased these um Poshmark wasn't even authenticating anything at all so it was pretty much you're buying stuff at your own risk um I mean I did save money and um again she had the receipt for this one as well so it kind of gave me a little more peace of mind that it wasn't fake and the last item that I got from Poshmark is my I think it's a koala or the joey wallet I'm not sure exactly the name but it's a vintage wallet that it's a vintage wallet that Louis Vuitton doesn't make anymore and it's compact it's kind of like it reminds me of the Victorian wallet because it's compact which is exactly why I gave it away um because I just I got the Victorian wallet and I just felt like it was redundant like I had the same thing both in monogram canvas as well and they were like compact wallets so I decided to and it was it was it was her birthday or her birthday was coming up so I just figured you know why not just give it to her I mean I would recommend it if you're buying a bag that's over $500 then obviously it's gonna get authenticated so if it's fake um it's not gonna get sent to you and they would give you your money back but if it's less than 500 i would just say reach out to the seller as much as possible get as many pictures as possible as well just so you don't get something that's fake and all that stuff um but yeah those are the places that i've purchased luxury items pre-love so fashion file instagram coco approved and poshmark i have sold a couple of items on poshmark i have sold that was where i actually sold my gucci marmon super mini so I guess you just have to do your research with all these things and um I think there's only one other place like Poshmark that I know of which is Depop um I'm not sure if there's like other apps that you can I'm pretty sure there are I just don't know them um but yeah the one I would recommend the most is definitely Fashion File and I would also recommend buying from Instagram sellers just know that with one you can return items and with another you cannot return items so um just Pick your poison i guess <laughs> um i don't know how else to say it, but yeah just pick your poison but that does it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you found this informative and um if you did enjoy this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up um leave comments in the comment section down below and also subscribe if you're not already subscribed um thank you guys so much for watching and i will catch you in my next video bye